No change at the RBA. Australia's central bank left the cash rate at a record low, while India cut interest rates for a third time this year. Let's bring in our team of reporters. Zeb Eckert joins us in Hong Kong, and Sunada Yasalian is in Mumbai. Zeb, first to you. Markets, the reaction. The RBA does nothing. The RBI does something. Put it all together for me. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's take a look at what's been happening today. I'll get to the equity market action in a moment. It's generally been a down day across the Asia Pacific. But take a look at the Australian dollar. This is the reaction we saw in the wake of that interest rate decision. Now, all 29 economists we surveyed here at Bloomberg expected no change in that benchmark rate. Uh, they kept it at a record low, the RBA today, at 2%. Check out where the currency moved, and it continues to uh, tick higher. 77 U.S. cents there, the move about one and a quarter percent. Now, the uh, Reserve Bank saying leaving rate unchanged and appropriate stance at this decision, uh, at this uh, meeting rather, they say uh, the key drag on demand right now in Australia, weak investment in mining, non-manufacturing, that of course doesn't come as a surprise, and they'll be watching closely the economic and financial conditions, including the macro situation, what we see in Greece. Uh, they say the economy in Australia continuing to grow, but below the long-term average, and as we said, we continue to see the Aussie dollar extending gains after this decision. Let's take a look at what we're seeing right Right now in the macro uh, situation, the equity markets across the Asia Pacific today, as you would uh, imagine, this has put, had a negative impact on the ASX 200. You see shares in Sydney down one and three quarters of one percent. And that's really the case across the region today. A down day here as investors interpret the latest economic cues out of the U.S. And of course, the moves by the RBA or the lack thereof today and the move that we saw in India just a short while ago. Zeb, just to follow up very, very quickly, last week, Thursday, a sell-off of 6.5% on the Shanghai Composite. Everyone gets excited. The following few days completely erases the losses. What's the sense in Hong Kong where you are among investors right now? Was that the beginning of something or just a hiccup? Yeah, we're watching it very, very closely here. And, of course, uh, the latest uh, moves from China uh, will have an impact. You know, you note what the government's doing in terms of providing an additional credit to the market, additional credit uh, lending capacity there. We're watching this in terms of uh, the municipal market there. So they are doing what they can to keep the, the market moving. Investors have perhaps gotten a bit ahead of themselves, particularly with that Shanghai-Hong uh, Kong Connect, which has seen a huge amount of interest, but the froth coming out to some extent. And you see that uh, today uh, with respect to Hong Hong Kong, but look at Shanghai, it's a 1.7% gain. There's still a lot of enthusiasm that the A share market is going to be the place to be as we look ahead. Will it come to fruition? Well, take a look at today's performance. <laughs> Zebeka, great work. Thanks for joining us this morning. Let's take it out to India, shall we? Sunanda Jayasalian is in Mumbai. Jayand, Sunanda, great to have you with us this morning. I guess the big question the RBI, third rate cut in 2015. What's the story? Well, you know, Governor Rajan, in some sense, almost playing to the gallery by ensuring that uh, uh, most market men as well as corporate India and bankers who had spoken with us had asked for a 25 bits rate cut, which they said would be essential if there was some bit of momentum that needed to come back into the market and the economy. And Governor Rajan not disappointing, going ahead with cutting key benchmark rates by 25 basis points. This essentially is uh, uh, the money which banks are required to keep in the event of a shortfall with the central bank. And that is the key rate which had been asked in terms of a cut, and that has, come in, uh, has now come in. However, G Governor Rajan having a lot of strong words, especially saying that uh, the RBI is not a cheerleader, saying that the RBI is only in terms of providing stability and not to give a booster shot as far as the economy goes, but highlighting that three key risks still remain to India's inflation going forward. There is, of course, concerns on the monsoon. There is oil prices as well as external volatility in terms of risks to inflation. What is making that even worse at this point, really, is that there's a lot of macroeconomic data that we've seen here in India, and that's not all pointing one way necessarily, making the job of really predicting uh, which way rates could go further a very difficult task. Sunanda, great to have you with us this morning. Thank you very much for joining us live from Mumbai.